name is Mark Nottingham. I work at Cloudflare as standards lead. So I help manage our uh, internet standards participation. My name is Lucas Pardu. I'm an engineer at Cloudflare working on the protocols team based in the London office. And my speciality is focusing on things like TCP, quick and TLS connections that come in from user agents like your web browser into the very edge of Cloudflare. TCP is is fundamental to the internet. When when we talk about internet protocols, you know the core, uh, what they call the narrow waste or or what everything kind of funnels through, is TCP/IP. This, this pair of protocols and 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 TCP is is the the part that most internet software uses on, on a constant basis. Uh, uh, without it, we we wouldn't have or applications would have to recreate a, a bunch of different facilities uh, that it provides. And so it really enabled the internet as we know it. It's one of the few technologies that has been able to persist effectively. There's been lots of things that have come and gone or been overtaken by newer versions and updates, but TCP is a great example of something that's like what I like to think of quite elastic. It's been able to scale way beyond its initial design parameters. Um, you know, the internet back then was a very different place constraints in terms of physical connectivity between places, uh, the way that networks were architected, um, the number of people using the internet, the competition or the the kind of overselling, the overcapacity um, that helped build networks and provisioning of those things. Uh, TCP was designed in a time before a lot of that. So um, I'm sure everyone is thankful for the modern day luxuries that we all have the opportunities that, that the internet and TCP IP are providing or have provided and the, the opportunities to, to continue to evolve the internet towards even more new and exciting things in the future. Pretty much everything in human society is just building on the, the shoulders of the giants that came before us.